Hi everyone, Pascal here, Technical Product Manager Bear Conductive, and today I'm going to show you electric paint lamp kit. So before we've done the electric paint circuit kit, which you can check out here, and we also extend this circuit kit, which you can check out here. And uh, yeah, today we're going to do the touch lamp, which is one uh, of the three lamps that comes with the electric paint lamp kit. But yeah, let's get started. <laughs> So yeah, the electric paint lamp kit, it's a great introductory project into capacitive sensing as well as electric paint. And right away when we open it, we can see it uh, contains the lighter board as well as the electric paint tube. So that's the electric paint tube with 10 milliliters. And yeah, that's the lighter board, which is the heart of the electric paint lamp kit. So I'm gonna put that for the site now. Um, and the lamp kit also contains then the USB cable to power up the lighter board as well as um, some instruction sheets to help you get started with electric paint and with twisting in the lighter board. I'll explain later what I mean by that. And then uh, the three templates um, for the three different lamps. And today we're gonna do the touch lamp. So let me just put that to the side for now. <clears throat> um, so like I said, this is the lighter board. It is the heart of the electric paint lamp kit. Um, so this lighter board is a small PCB with um, six electrodes as well as six capacitive sensors. Um, there's no need to program it. Um, it has six different lamp modes. It has a touch touch mode, a dimmer load mode, the proximity mode, um, and then also has um, the dice mode as well as the candle and spinning mode. In order to get access to these different nodes, what you use is you use electric paint. Um, and by combining a different set of sensors, you get a different lamp mode. So for example, the touch lamp, you combine electrode E9, E10, and then you press E0 to um, turn on the lamp and turn it off again. But I'll show you in a minute what I mean. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So this is the touch lamp template. Um, it also comes with the touch lamp lamp shade. Um, we'll come to that later. Uh, but for now, what we want to do is just fill out the template with electric paint. Um, when you apply electric paint, what you want to do is you want to apply it at a 90 degree angle. So that's what I'm going to do here now. The reason why is because the electric paint, um, compared to other conductive materials, is fairly resistive. Um, to get the minimal resistance in electric paint, you need to apply a smooth and even surface. And that's like when you do it with a tube, the best way to do that is by applying it at a 90 degree angle. That's what I'm doing here, um, just fitting in between the lines. This one is for the electrode zero. That's gonna be our switch. When we touch it, it turns the lamp on. We touch it again to turn the lamp off. And then down here, that's just to combine, um, connect E9 and E10 together. Um, then you let the electric paint dry. It takes about 15 minutes. Um, so I'm gonna put it to the side for now. And then use a different one that we already made in advance. This one here. Um, the next step is then with the uh, lighter board to uh, plug it in, not really plug it in, you twist it in. So what I mean is the, the form of the lighter board lends itself to be twisted into paper so with these um, three flaps. And then what you do is you twist it in. So like it's numbered on the template, like number one, number two, number three, number four. Um, it's like, hello, it's cut it out a bit. Um, and yeah, so what you all do is then you place the lighter board, it kind of gives an indication here with the USB. And then what you can do is just twist it like so. So start with a one, move on to the two here, and then the three, and last but not least, the four. Oh, something like that. Yep. Yeah. Now it's twisted in, now it's secure, so it's like, it doesn't fall off that easily. Um, oh, a little bit more. So what you wanna do is like have the electrodes perfectly aligned with the electric paint. And then the next step is to cold solder. So cold solder, what we mean is normal solder requires a solder iron um, and it's hot, really hot. This one is not hot at all, it's just cold. So we just apply electric paint into each electrode a little bit. Um, and that creates a connection between the um, electric paint that's on the template and the lighter board. Um, again, you can let it dry. No, you should let it dry as well. Uh, but in the meantime, what you do is let it dry again, put it to the side, 
in the meantime you can um, fold your lampshades so uh, it comes with instructions again where you have to fold and where you have to insert um, and I just got electric paint all over my hand I'll be right back um, and yeah so then you start folding it so it's gonna go ahead so this one goes down here like so this one like so then you have two flaps here one here and one here and then you insert it like so one and two that's the lamp shade um, and yeah then you can come back to your lighter board and attach the lamp shade to the lighter board as well so I like to go from the bottom to the top so insert one end in here all the way down and then the other end take it up and slide it in as well push it down yeah and then set up so this one is still drying so let that to the side and we have another one prepared here um, and then once it's ready you just plug it in like you take the usb cable and plug it in from the inside um, and then you plug in the usb cable to power source which can be like a laptop see a quick flash and then touch the paint to turn the lamp on and off on and off and that's it that's the touch lamp from the electric paint lamp kit and um, if you have any questions let us know in the comment section below also let us know of any projects you want to see in the future and um, but yeah until then see you next time for the dimmer lamp see ya